Dubai's beaches have smartphone addicts in mind with a new state-of-the-art tree that allows visitors to have Wi-Fi access and the capability to charge their smartphone. Now these smart trees, they harness solar power during the day so you can power the, um, at night with Wi-Fi. Awesome, Jose, Wi-Fi on the beach. Each smart palm tree is 20 feet high. It has leaves measuring 18 square meters, eight charging points offering Wi-Fi within a 100 meter radius so you can actually walk around on your phone in Dubai. Here's where they lose me. They've equipped these with security cameras. I thought it was cool until I heard them, you know, they're adding more security cameras to Dubai because they don't have enough. But the trees are really awesome. The fact that you get Wi-Fi is, is pretty neat. State-of-the-art surveillance stations, right. that's what I think they are. Just to make sure nobody is actually kissing on the beach while you're charging going your phone. To jail. I, think, I think, you know, the, adva the technology advancement is cool. What I don't like is, you know, we're getting, you know, we are getting rid of any space that we can actually disconnect. And now we're trying to make everything connected. Even if you go to the edge of the ocean, right. there's no way you can save yourself from the pollution phone. and from the, you know, because <laughs> that's something that we don't never take in account that much. What about the radiation that this is going to create? Right. If we just keep putting this Wi-Fi... Uh, so emitting you know? the Wi-Fi is a radiation issue for you? I mean, just the amount of radiation that we continue to emit, putting okay. these, these towers and these, these cell towers and these Wi-Fi stations, but also the other is the privacy issue, because you go and you connect to this, and how do you know they're not, you know, making a backup of your phone, that they're not necessarily, you know, tapping into your, your devices? I mean, it's not like Dubai has the best record in, in human rights and, and human liberties. I mean, not to, not to attack Dubai and their human rights record on this story, because it is about the tree. The tree is awesome. The Wi-Fi on the tree is really cool. And they are state-of-the-art in Dubai. It's not like they're a second world city. They surpass us in a lot of things. And this is pretty awesome. I wish that we had the big flower tree on our beaches, maybe. Going back to your point about radiation, though, wouldn't it be more likely that you would get like brain cancer from the phone being attached to your head as opposed to that being emitted? I mean, that's a, that's one of the big debates. You know, a lot of phone companies and the associations of phone companies have been pushing hard for for any type of conductive research to be done and, and you know state that there is a connection between tumors and brain cancer to this use of cell phones. I think if that comes to be, everybody's going to be really, really scary. But I, I'm really concerned about this, the privacy issues because now there, there's pretty much taking video of everyone at the beach. There's no space, They were probably you know. doing that long before. But now it's established there. And now people, it's something that we need to get used to and accept. And, and I don't think it's necessarily a good thing. Right. Well, the creator of this smart palm, they're, they're saying that the palm tree, they chose the shape for a reason. They're saying that it has an important cultural identity um, of the date palm. It's being planted to provide shelter, building materials. They're really tapping into the metaphor of the palm tree along with its, with its cool features. Anyway, we'd love to know what you think at home about this palm tree emitting the Wi-Fi. Is my colleague right here? Is it just going to promote radiation, which leads to cancer? Can't you just get away from it all and enjoy the beach for crying out loud? Log on, post those comments below about the story while you're at it. Check out the rest of our channel and of course subscribe to the Lib TV2 for more.